Today on Project Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to distill your very own water and make your own distiller. Some of the elements you're going to need is an airtight container. This can be anything. It just needs to be airtight and won't escape. Next, a vent tube to trap all the steam to transport it to a collector. That can be any type of container. And of course, you're going to need liquid, uh, seawater you could actually distill, and a heat source. So for my vent tube, I just went to Home Depot and bought some copper refrigerant uh, line. Pretty simple, pretty cheap. I think it was about 12 bucks. For my collector, you can see I have a nice empty wine bottle. Something I found laying around. And for my airtight container, I have a pressure cooker I got from Goodwill. And it was, I think, $8.00. You already have a pressure cooker you're halfway there and then for the liquid I'm just gonna pour in some tap water Oop. and after that I get some kosher salt just to throw something in there to make some taste and I think seawater is about three or five percent um, sodium so it's just to simulate what seawater would be. And then just throw the lid on and get ready to distill. Now one problem you might have like me if you get a pressure cooker from Goodwill is the seals do not work and steam goes everywhere. To fix that, I just grabbed some grocery bags and made a makeshift seal. It wasn't perfect, but it works. You can see a little bit of steam coming out of the vent tube at the top. And bam, it is literally that easy to distill water. Now I'll just speed up the process here so you don't have to sit through the boringness of steam collecting and condensing into water. But this is not the most elaborate distilling equipment. There we go. But I just want to show you guys how simple um, the elements need to be. And you can use this to distill, like I said, seawater, swamp water, which I'm pretty sure it gets all the particles out. But you might want to filter it out anyways and just use a simple charcoal filter just to be extra safe. Taste test time. Hmm. Other than mustache, it tastes good. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Can't wait to see you next time.